Already at this time of year, we can see the hours of daylight increasing as spring approaches. The period of 40 days before Easter is, in the English-speaking world, called Lent, derived from an old word meaning lengthening of days. And of course, that's what we are witnessing at present. And just as the natural world starts to uh, show evidence of new life and uh, growth, so for Christians, this holy season of Lent affords us the opportunity for renewal and for growth in our spiritual lives. For the church, this is also a period of final preparation for those who have been drawn to Christ as adults, uh, final preparation for their baptism during the Easter Vigil. For many Christians, Lent also serves as a reminder of those disciplines which help us to live our Christian life in the world, the practices of prayer, of fasting and of almsgiving. And these practices are fundamental, uh, not only to the Lenten season, but to our spiritual lives uh, as a whole, that Lent is our reminder. Now and every day is the day of salvation, the day for living the life of faith. So personal and communal prayer leads us out of our narrow selves into the light of the Lord. Fasting, be it from food or drink or television, the pursuit of one's own agenda and so on, this opens up to the encounter with other people. And almsgiving, sharing what we have with others, whether it be uh, money or time or assistance, patience, consideration, all of this brings blessings on people. We are fellow workers with Christ. And so the practices of Lent help us in that daily conversion to the Lord, which is so important if we are truly to be his disciples.